a few weeks ago, we spoke about the nine-year-old Ezra Blunt, who, um, after attending Astroworld with his dad, wound up in a coma, injuries uh, sustained during the crowd surge. Unfortunately, Ezra didn't survive, and he was laid to rest on Tuesday. Now it's being reported that Travis Scott offered to pay for Blunt's funeral costs, but his family has rejected the offer. The family attorney released the following statement. Your client's offer is declined. I have no doubt Mr. Scott feels remorse. His journey ahead will be painful. He must face and hopefully see that he bears some of the responsibility for this tragedy. Now, our thoughts and prayers are, of course, with Ezra's family. What are your thoughts on this and the family refusing uh, assistance with the funeral costs? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a legal legal strategy. I'm pretty sure they were advised by their attorney to not take the money. I'm sure it's one of those things where, you know, if, if you take the money over here, it may damage what you got going on over here with your lawsuit or whatever the case may be. Um, and Ben Crump don't got a hold of this. So the, the, them people, that, that fume was paid for. The fume was paid for. It was going to get paid for. Um, and... Uh, you know, I just feel bad for the family. You know, they, they, they probably didn't even want to hear from no damn Travis Scott. To be co- quite quite honest with you, I wouldn't want to hear no damn correspondence from if my child had died. But it's just all sad right. all the way around. Al, what do you think about this? You know, it, it, it is very tragic. And Q, you know exactly what it is. They can't accept money for a funeral and then have a lawsuit, whether it is criminal or civil, and expect to to uh, take win money from the defendant in that case. The interesting thing to me, though, Claudia, is if you read this story, Ezra's family and lawyers are only asking for a million dollars in the lawsuit, a million dollars in the lawsuit. I just don't understand why um, Travis Scott's attorneys aren't being smarter about this. Settle outside of court, put this to rest, uh, kill the stories about this, because it's it's the story around this young man that's really tugging at our heartstrings. Like, turn this act of violence into an act of kindness. We know that if you settle, that's not an admission of guilt. So why wouldn't you just give a million dollars to make this go away? It's so much easier and it's so much quicker. We could turn this page and, and we can move forward. I wonder why they're asking for so little. I know. It blew my mind. They're asking for a million dollars. Hopefully, though, with being Crump being involved, uh, he'll be able to up that number a little bit. But I was very shocked to find out that they're only asking for a million dollars in the lawsuit that they filed in the city of Houston. Do you think it's part of a bigger legal strategy uh, or, or are they going to get more from off the class action maybe or? I'm thinking maybe that I, I, I don't know. It's a wrong for death. Maybe there, I don't know if there's a max in that jurisdiction, but I, I, I can't believe that a child's life is worth a million dollars. He was only nine. His life expectations is in the seventies. Now they have to calculate how much he could possibly make in all those years. And it's gotta be well over a million. Uh, you know, you'd be surprised with some of these lawsuits, what people are okay with to, to feel like they're being made whole and I feel like Travis, you know, you're right. A million dollars would probably be nothing to him, but he, maybe that's his strategy of saying, I don't feel like I am responsible in this. That's probably part of his defense, you know? All right. Sad story all around.